All right, welcome back to Born Reviews. Nick here. Joey there. Voice cracked a little bit there. I heard that. You're like going through puberty again. Hey, if I can get taller, let's do it. <laughs> and we are looking at who again today, Jody? Dave Allen. Davey Allen. Yes, very, very nice. And this is our second time reacting to him. If you missed our first time, check it out on the channel. You'll see the recommendation up here at some point at the beginning of this video. And which one are we checking out today? The Vagaries of the English Language. Vagaries of the English Language. Not going to lie, I had to look up that word. And it means something about like a sudden change in like the mean of a word or change in like an abrupt change or something like that. I don't know. That's what I took from it. But we're going to go with that. And excited about this, it makes me think a little bit of like uh, David Mitchell, right? And how he's okay. talking about different phrases. I don't think it's going to be that same type of video. But excited to check this out. If you're excited for our reaction at all, please don't forget to... Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next upload video. Yeah, let's does it. Ooh, does. What does that mean? And there are certain know. things in the English language that... Uh, have you ever noticed that there are contradictions in terms within English? If we are being aggressive or belligerent uh, or threatening, have you noticed that we use words would imply friendship? Have you noticed that? Pow. Listen to me, pow. <laughs> Scots are always doing that, don't they? Listen to me, now, pow. You're an idiot, pow. You're asking for a pow. <laughs> the Londoner, they, they, chum, isn't it? A chum. Ooh, a chum. Yeah. It's so expressive. Mexicans is always amigo. I'm amigo. I cut your testicles off, amigo. But I do it with a smile. Americans are always, hey, friend, buddy, boy. Okay, friend. The Australians. Mate. Hey, mate. All right, mate. You want it, mate? You come out and get it, mate! <laughs> it's crazy. And then, then He's when not we wrong, though. being friendly with people, we use the most extraordinary insulting, derogatory terms. Well, you, hey, what are you doing, you gray-haired old reprobate? <laughs> Hello, you old bastard! <laughs> they call your whole little legitimacy into question. You old bastard, how are you? You old puffed <laughs> Where have you been, you old bugger? Well, bugger me. You old bugger, you bugger me. You're as pissed as a fart. <laughs> what does a pissed fart look like? I've never heard that before. Does a fart get pissed? No, no, you're right. He's not wrong. We say pal, we say bo, we say okay, friend, right in a threatening way. That's absolutely hilarious. Yep. What look like? Is mad enough? What is a piss fart? It wobbles out of your bum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say. It. Falls over. Boom. <laughs> Excuse me, laughing. I haven't heard that one. <laughs> and then the Americans. The Americans. The Americans. I'm never sure what they say. I mean, the Americans will always use eight words where one will do. They're always. Uh, they get lost in words. And then they was I uh, question you. They they say things like, uh, I uh, I had a cup of coffee. You know what I mean? <laughs> huh? Yeah, I I I had a cup of coffee. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> Shit, it's difficult, but I'm beginning to work. <laughs> you you had a cup of coffee. Mm. <laughs> The English also use expressions like, you don't say. Let's go to London. You don't say. <laughs> I like that well, phrase. <laughs> the Americans don't say that anymore. They don't say you don't say. They say, no shit. <laughs> shit in America is used for everything else but what it means. Yep. I agree. They don't say anything else. No shit. I, uh, I drove, uh, I was in America, and I'm, I'm saying something, I said, uh, uh, I was in North Carolina, and I came through to New York. No shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> no shit. 
Yes. <laughs> In Virginia. <laughs> so wait for that. I mean, you've heard President Bush now. His Ooh. dog doesn't shit. It doo-doos. <laughs> the word doo-doo has taken over for the word shit. I'm going through Central Park with a friend of mine, a grown adult man, and he suddenly goes, Oh, shit! And I go, what? He said, I've stood on some dog's doo-doo. <laughs> okay. I have to laugh because every part about that is correct. And sometimes I'll be like, okay, you do do. And like, I'll say it like as I'm talking, like, mean two do's in the same sentence. And all the kids are just cracking up. Oh, yeah. That's you do do. Yep. Yes. I have yep. to go to duty. Yep. You have some duty to do? <laughs> yeah. Yep. He's, he's so right. Doo-doo. <laughs> I mean, marijuana, grass, ganji, call it what you like. They don't say shit. That's what it is. In America, they call it shit. They don't say marijuana, grass, and shit. I'm sitting in a bar in New York. The fellow comes over. Hey, man. I smoke some. Hey, you, man. What? Hey. You want to buy some shit? <laughs> Buy some shit. <laughs> shit? Yeah. Colombian. Colombian shit. <laughs> Colombian shit? <laughs> yeah, it's the best shit in the world. <laughs> you bring it all the way up from Colombia? <laughs> yeah. You, you have it on you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how, how much do you have on you? It's about three pounds. You're walking around with three pounds of shit in your pocket. <laughs> and people give you money for it? How much do you get? About fifty dollars an ounce. Shit. I'll be a millionaire in a week. <laughs> I'll be a millionaire. I think it's probably time that I went out and found out where Salmon Rusty is living so I can move in with him. <laughs> Time, time beats us all the time. Thanks, anyhow, thanks for being a nice audience. Thanks for listening. And uh, see you around. Good night. <laughs> That's an interesting way to close it. It's funny that this was in the 1990s and not much has changed. Now we just call it weed. But I mean. Yeah, well, I mean, it's if, funny all the names. I think the names have added, right? Yes. But if you wanted to say, hey, let's go smoke some, people are going to know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. No, I, mean, I was smoking a lot of ass last night. I mean, we obviously, one of the things that I think the audience has accepted, but a lot of people are just like really surprised is we don't swear, we don't cuss. I edit out the videos from the, the big words at least. And so it's just not in our regular vernacular. But I have thought about that so many times, like whether it's the F-bomb or whatever else. It's used for every other single thing, usually except for what we know it to be meant as. And as someone who I never got in the routine uh, of c cussing or whatever in my regular speech. I don't know why. I know that makes me in the vast minority, but I just, I couldn't keep up when I was a kid. Like, what are you, what are you guys talking about? You speak a different language. And so obviously I learned, you know, okay, that means that, 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 and that. But, but you're right. I mean, 30 some odd years later, some of those phrases are still around. Some of those mm -hmm. things are still around. Mm -hmm. I love when someone really picks apart the different things of the English language, the slang and how it's used mm -hmm. and changed about. That, that's pretty awesome. Let us know what your feelings are about this topic. Let, me, let us know what are some crazy phrases that you've heard that you never understood, but you know what they mean, obviously. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want more Dave Allen, let us know. Until next time. Goodbye.